to you, which I will check it out. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, my daughter. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, my dear daughter. Thank you so much, Papa. I didn't see this coming. Um, make a wish. On this day. I, I, I wish. It's all right. It, it's okay. It's your birthday. It's okay. It's all right. It's okay. It's okay. Um, it's all right. Thank you so much. Give me the right one. Okay. The juicy one. Okay. That's to be go. <laughs> no, no, give me. Mmm. Spencer. Spencer. Spencer! Spencer, listen. I am sorry. I didn't notice you walked in. How would you notice I walked in when you were busy playing love play with my father? That was not love play. So what was it? No, tell me. What was it? I was feeding him fruits. Nothing more. <laughs> Can you listen to yourself? You were feeding him fruits. Is he handicapped? No, tell me. Is he handicapped? So why are you insinuating? That I'm having an affair with your father? Oh, it's not far from the truth. Really? Spencer, how could you even think of a thing? Please, spare me that. See, listen, I will not stand here and watch you insult me. I'm not good after all this. Professor, I need you to sign on this proposal before dispatch. Spencer. Spencer! Okay, Frank. Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry I wasn't listening. Okay. <clears throat> I guess you're thinking on your next relaxation place with your fiance, right? Uh, no, far from it. So what could it be? Um, Frank. Amanda is having an affair with my father. What? Ah, 
How do you mean? I don't understand. What I just meant. Look, the other day, I caught them playing love. Did he even notice I walked in on them? This is ridiculous. Amanda, I know, would not do such a thing. I don't understand. I'm trying to explain something to you. Do you think I'm lying to you? I am not saying you are lying. But it is difficult to believe. Which father would be having an affair with his son's fiancée? My father! My father is having an affair with his son's fiancée. Don't you get it? Hey, hey. Bring it easy. Ah. Bring it easy, bro. Okay? This is an office. And it would be nice for anybody to hear you talking about something like this. It doesn't make sense. You know what? Um, we'll sit later and talk about this. Alright? But first, I want you to send this proposal. Okay. I will come later and get it. No, yeah, I will do that for you. Take it easy. Why did you live the way you did the other day? It was nothing serious. My son, did he upset you? Like I said, it's not serious. I already fixed it. So, how have you been? I'm fine. Just, um, a little pain in my back. Maybe you should give me some massage. <laughs> no problem. Where do we get it done? My room. Okay. Let me drop the call. Uh, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. What's going on here? Bent on giving another man your time more than me. That same man you call another man is your father. He needs care. He needs the care of a wife. And who says he hasn't been getting the care? Eh? Who has been giving him the care? You? Especially like you wake up every morning and then you're off to work and come back at night. You don't spend time with him. It's clear you're warming up to becoming his wife. Yeah? You know what? I think this thing we call a relationship needs a break. I beg your pardon? Spencer, you should be grateful that I'm spending time with your father. Yes. Do you know how happy he is this past few days that I spent with him? Exactly my point. It's him, him, and him. It's never me. It's never the person you call your fiancé. You know what? Eventually when you get to set the date for your wedding, trust me, I will grace it. What has come over you, Spencer? Spencer! Please, 
Spencer, I am talking to you. Spencer, you need to calm down and handle this amicably. I've had it up to my neck, Frank. I've had it up to my neck. The whole love play thing has metamorphosed into body massaging. What? What do you mean? Look, I caught Amanda massaging him. <laughs> this is getting more tough. I think it, it, there must be something wrong somewhere. Have you tried talking to Amanda to see what the problem is? Talking to Amanda? Obviously she had nothing meaningful to say. Nothing meaningful to say. Maybe. Maybe you're not giving her enough attention. So she decided to seek it from someone else. I beg your pardon. I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Spencer. Spencer. Son. Son, open the door. Open the door, we need to talk. I am your father, and I wouldn't do anything to hurt you, my son. Son, please open the door, open the door. Son. Son. Look, we need to talk. Son, open the door, please. Son. Spence, open the door. Let us talk. I'm your father. Let us talk. I am sick and tired of you in this house. I labor day and night to make sure you have everything you needed. I provide every single thing you needed, but what do you do? You stab me in the back. Spencer. Look, Spencer, you need to calm down and listen to me, your father. There's nothing to listen to. There's absolutely nothing to listen to, Dad. As if that's not enough. What do you do? You go ahead and take my fiance away from me. Dad, tell me, what wrong have I done to you? No, tell me, what wrong have I done to you? I will not watch you insult me. Dad, I wasn't insulting you. And besides, I don't even care. Spencer, have you ever thought of how I feel since the demise of your mother, my wife? Look, look, look Dad, I absolutely do not care about this whole thing because he never cared about how I felt. Do you know how I feel every time I get to see you and Amanda in a romantic state? All the time? Hey, what are you doing here? Didn't I tell you I needed a break? Spencer. Don't, don't, don't you call my name! Now leave my house. At the count of five, leave my house. One, two, three! I am pregnant. You what? No! No, 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 Dad! It should not be no, it should be yes! <laughs> you, the container you ordered has just landed. And this calls for celebration. I beg your pardon? Don't you beg my pardon! Because you will never get it. Prepare for a DNA test. At least let's get to find out who the father of this child is. If it's mine. Or if it's my father's. Spencer. 
Spencer's. You need to stop crying. It's not doing you any good at all. Spencer accused me. He accused me of having an affair with his father. You don't know what I am. I am so hot. I totally understand how you feel. But you shouldn't let what he thinks subject you to emotional torture. At least you are only being kind to his father. Even his late mom will be pleased with you. Lucy. Could you believe that? Spencer called it off with me. After so many years. What? So many years of being in a relationship with him. <laughs> Honestly, this is too much for you. Why would he even do such a thing to you? I mean, which man wouldn't want his fiancé to bond with his father? Listen, sweetheart. You need to put yourself together. I'll talk to him, okay? Come here. Come here. Her love for humanity reminds me so much of your late mother. So homely, full of respect and humor. Unfortunately, nature took her away from me a few years after your birth because she couldn't stand the shock of the accident that took away my mobility. And I went through hell raising you alone while on this wheelchair. I've always wished that someday, that someday you will get a wife that will take care of this family, seeing my condition. looks familiar. Yeah. My name is Lucy, Amanda's friend. Oh yeah. Hi. Hi. How you doing? I, I think I remember you. You once came visiting with her. You're right. So what do I owe this August visit? Won't you at least let me in? Sorry, my man. I was about stepping out. But come in. Okay. No yeah, problem. Come in. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <coughs> um, please have your seat. Oh, thanks. Thanks so much. Yeah, so, um, what do I owe this visit? <laughs> it's about Amanda. Is she ready to do the DNA test? <laughs> Come on, Spencer. Look, um, Lucy, I don't have time to talk about Amanda, okay? Whenever she's ready to do the test, she can call me. So for now, I'm pretty busy. You know, you notice I was going out. Spencer. Mm. Sp
Oh. I was trying to make tea. It fell and broke. You would have beckoned on Spencer to help you out. He said he had something important to catch up with. So I decided to do it myself. It, it's, it's fine. Let me take you out. I'll play it up. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much, my daughter. You're welcome, sir. Uh, your face looks very familiar. <laughs> You're right, sir. I'm Amanda's friend. I've been here with her once. Oh, I see. How is she? She's very well, thank you. Mm. Please um, tell her that I am sorry for whatever my son must have said to her. She shouldn't take it to heart. I relate your message to her, sir. Thank you. I pray for you. <laughs> you will find peace of mind. Amen. You will find a helper whenever you need help. Amen. <laughs> Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Um, let me quickly get you water to wash your hand. Oh, right okay. Back. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Why don't you just go for this DNA test and prove your innocence? Prove what innocence? Wait a minute, Lucy. So you believe Spencer's father is responsible for my pregnancy? Come on, sweetheart. Why should I even think such? If it is the only way your six years relationship with Spencer will be restored, then... Then um, what? I should go for a DNA test. So that it will look like I was really having an affair with his father. Is that what you're saying? At this point, I don't know what to say anymore. Lucy. Do you think Spencer is seeing another woman? What? Hmm. Mm. This food is very nice. Tastes good. The person that made it must be a very good cook. Mm. 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 This is nice. Hi. Hello. 
Is Spencer in? Spencer? He's not back from work. And who are you? I should be asking you who you are. Really? Okay. I'm Fiona, Spencer's girlfriend. You look like a newly employed maid hired to take care of his crippled father. Why don't you go upstairs, change to your uniform and get to work? His father is upstairs in his room. What are you doing here? We need to talk. Um, Fiona, please just give us a little minute, okay? Why? Baby, have we started keeping secrets? Look, it's just a conversation, okay? Baby, have we started keeping secrets? It's not a secret, it's just a conversation, okay? Just give us a few minutes. You can't come into my house and detect to me how I live my life. Why are you doing this? What did I do wrong? You've suddenly thrown away everything we shared together as family. Spencer, this is the sixth year of our relationship. And I can swear to you that. No man has ever seen my nakedness. Then why are you refusing to take the test? Why are you refusing? Why? If you know the pregnancy is mine, why are you refusing to take the test? Why should I? Why should I take a DNA test when I know the father of my unborn child? Which is you. It's clear you have nothing to talk about, actually. Hey, close my door when you leave. Spencer. Spencer! Because of that thing, huh? Me, what, are, what exactly am I to you? Your side chick? Hey. Hey. Look, you can never be my side chick, okay? You're my main chick. Besides, yeah, besides, I, I had to tell you to leave because I didn't want you to listen to the trash they were about to say. Are you sure? Come on. I'm sure. You want me to show you? Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> 
Ты с тобой не кто? Hello, beautiful. Hello. At least let me give you a ride. Leave me the heck alone! Child that has done nothing wrong to you. You don't understand my pain. You don't understand the bitterness of carrying a pregnancy that is being rejected by the man who is responsible. You don't know. You don't know what it means to be accused of an affair you know nothing about. Amanda, that is not enough reason for you to kill an innocent child. This child is what makes you a woman. It is your womb opener. And listen, you are not going to get rid of this pregnancy and that's final. I am depressed. I don't even know what else to do. I don't know what to think. I cannot bear this alone. I can't. I cannot bear this. Babe, it's okay. Everything will be fine. Just put yourself together. Come here. Sorry, it's okay. I want to talk to you, woman to woman. I have been with Spencer over six years now. We have gone through thick and thin. Together. And our wedding is by the corner. If you are in my shoes, how would you feel? Seeing another woman trying to break into your affairs. How would you feel? Is this why you stopped me? <laughs> Wait. Is this really why you stopped me? Huh? Aren't you ashamed of yourself? Having an affair with your claimed fiance's father. A cripple at that. You disgust me. Hi. Do you know what you are? You are nothing but a loose whore. That's what you are. A piece of advice. Go lick your wounds. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh. That's this. Don't waste my time.
after you're going out? Was that question for me? I thought you were cooking in the kitchen a couple of moments ago. You didn't dish my food? <laughs> As your wife or what? Oh, oh. You think I'm that useless someone that I've been having an affair with? Watch it. No, you watch your mind. You should be ashamed of yourself. A father having an affair with his son's fiance is a disgrace to fatherhood. Gosh! Oh, oh, I don't blame you. I just blame that useless thing for opening her legs for you. You're hungry, huh? If you want to eat, call her to cook for you. Excuse me. Oh. Why can't you take someone else like yourself? Everybody needs love. You mean to tell me that she refused accepting a DNA test? <laughs> hey, this is serious. It is not obvious she's having an affair with your dad. All she does is just cry crocodile tears to prove her decency. <laughs> what? <laughs> Which woman won't accept a DNA test to prove her innocence? My brother, please. Tell me, I remember when I was telling you about the affairs they were having, you thought I was speaking gibberish. No, you thought I was saying nonsense. <laughs> Hi. Baby. Hey, look at you. Hey, baby. Hey, sweetheart. Mm -hmm. Come ah. here. Mm -hmm. Ooh. <laughs> Come mm here. -hmm. Mm. Um, Spencer. Yeah. My office. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. You never told me you were coming though. Baby, I just felt you'd be famished to have your lunch. You cooked? Mm-hmm. Oh, you did? Mm -hmm. Come here. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. I love you. I love you too, baby. Okay, baby. Just mm -hmm. enjoy your meal, okay? okay? Let me go pick up something. Okay. See you later, baby. Hey, hey, I ain't you forgetting something. <sighs> Baby, nutty, nutty. I love you. I love you too, baby. And yeah, thank you for the food. Yeah, baby, enjoy, okay? Yeah. Bye. Bye, baby. Bye. She cooked. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Looks like you're... You've gotten your replacement <laughs> for a dished Amanda, huh? In business, that is what we call planning on economics. <laughs> <laughs> and from the look of things, I, hey. I can see that that's a nice game. <laughs> okay. Hey, that's my food. Bro, I'm sorry, but I'm your brother. Oh God, look at the fish. <laughs> Damn, this is... Hey, easy. Hey, listen, you huh? have to remain a little from you, though. Little for you? Yo. I cannot. Oh, is it? Okay. Oh God. How did she know that I'm, I'm very, very hungry? What is, what, what is wrong? What is it? Frank. Eat. Frank. Eat. Frank, what is going on? Frank! We men. We men. They will never cease to amaze me. My office. What is love without trust? What is, what is this? Love without trust. 
What is love without trust? What is love without trust? Love goes with trust. Hey, bro. So my love. I love Change you your every single minute. Oh my dear, love is dead. Yeah, that reminds me. The meal you brought to my office. Mm -hmm. Who cooked it? I did. You liked it? Yeah. I, I really, really love it. It was amazing. Mm. Tasted really good. Mm. I'm glad you love a baby. Mm -hmm. Baby. Mm. I learned from my mom. Your mom? Mm hmm. She taught oh. me so well. She really did. <laughs> she really did teach you. <laughs> I love you, baby. I love ah, you so much. Babe, it's almost past dinner time. Let me go make you something sumptuous. Babe, yeah, uh, no, no. I really, I don't want you to stress. Why? Do you want you brought to me in the office? It's in my stomach. Are you sure? Of course. So I am full. I'm okay. Mm -hmm. I love you, baby. I love you. Okay, so let's continue. So. Uh, oh, yeah, so. Baby, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Uh, are I'm, you sure? Of course, I am good. Okay. I'm good. So. So, yeah, what are we checking out? Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday my daughter, happy birthday to you, happy birthday my dear daughter. Thank you so much, Papa. I didn't see this coming. Um, make a wish. On this day. I wish. It's all right. It, it's okay. It's your birthday. It's okay. It's all right. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Um, it's all right. Thank you so much. You are an amazing soul, Amanda. A precious gift to my son and I. Every single day of your stay in our house has been memorable. Having you around me makes me feel my late wife, whom I loved so much, still lives in you. Spencer might be stupid to have left you. But I will not leave you. He's my only son. And I will not watch him make the mistakes he will leave to regret. You are the one I want in my house. In my family. Come and be the homemaker. Please. Papa. All my life. I have never loved any man the way I loved Spencer. I sacrificed everything for him. What did he do? He turned his back on me. Simply because I showed you love, care, and affection. What was I supposed to do? Bound on you, in, even in this condition. <sighs> I 
husband's helped me so bad. He has made my night seem miserable. It's all right, my dear. It's all right. You have to put yourself together again, okay? Wipe your tears. I want to marry you for my son. What? Spencer is my only son. And I know how to bend him. No matter how grown or stubborn he thinks there is. So, all you have to do is to play along. Trust me, he will come back in. <laughs> Amanda, mm -hmm. I've not seen you this happy in a while. What is it? Guess. You know I'm not good at guessing. My friends, spill the beans, Jerry. <laughs> well, it's okay. If you can't guess, I'll tell you. Amanda will be getting married to Spencer. Wow. Oh my goodness. Are you serious? Of course I am, baby girl. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy for you. Thank you. <laughs> Tell me, how did he propose? Like, what was his facial reaction when he proposed? Did he feel so bad for the trauma he put you through? He wasn't the one that proposed. His father did. What? Yes. He said he wants to marry me for his son. And you think that's going to work without Spencer's consent? I don't even know what to think anymore. I just want to go into that house and look at his face every day. That's my wish. And you think it's going to work? I don't even know. I hope it works. It's okay. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And cheers. Mm. Mm. To what? That's my baby girl. <laughs> Get <you> married. <laughs> What is it? Why is your face like this? Talk to me. What is it? Babe, I can't continue living with that thing under this roof. Okay? I need to understand the game your father is up to. Game? What game are you talking about? You don't pretend like you don't know what I'm talking about. Or you think I'm dumb or something. Hey, hey, hey. Relax. Look, where are all this coming from? Babe. Your father married that girl for you, right? So I can be, you can be sneaking into her room at night because it feels I'm not good enough for you. <laughs> Babe, don't be ridiculous, okay? Look, whatever plan my father has with Amanda, I have nothing, absolutely nothing to do with it. He married Amanda is for himself and not for me. Are you sure? Of course. You know I love you, right? I love you too. Come here, come. Okay. <laughs> is that why your face is like this? Mm -hmm. Now pull up a smile for me. Mm. I'm fine. Um, okay, let me just finish up with these stuffs, okay? Okay, you need anything? Uh, a glass of juice will do. Okay, baby. Thank you, babe. Alright. <laughs> Oh. 
looking at who? Hmm. Oh no, I wasn't I wasn't looking at her. So I'm now blind. Look. That's what I've noticed. If you want to look, I just don't want to start an argument. Okay. Spencer! Spencer, I'm talking to you! Spencer! Uh, I just want to get to the parlor. Mm -hmm. So do what now? I I just want to have a strong drink. Strong drink. Yeah. Since when? You don't do alcohol. So. I just need it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Me too. I need it. What's, what's all this? <laughs> oh, you think I'll allow that slot to snatch it away from me? That's what's all this. Let's go. My late wife used to buy them in bunches. This one is very fresh. Mm. Ah. Why don't I feel you? Don't do my dog. Oh, yes, I'm going to stress. Mm. You can take some too. <laughs> mm. take, take some. Mm. I will win. <laughs> <laughs> No. Mm. Okay. No okay. Bananas don't choke. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was big. I don't want you to get choked. <laughs>
me with with words mean of that nonsense? Eh? Baby, I'm sorry. I thought I had the money. You thought what? You thought? I'm sorry. Amanda. <laughs> okay, so how do I look? Um, one second. Uh -huh. Turn around. <laughs> Turn around. <laughs> wow, you look very beautiful. <laughs> Thank you so much. Mm. Okay, so I'm off to see a friend. It's all right. Um, please don't stay long. I promise I won't. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Let me miss you a little. <laughs> I'll see you shortly. Okay, dear. Bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Amanda. <laughs> oh God! Honestly, Amanda, I now have my privacy moving into your house. I mean, Sophie and her boyfriend, those two, they won't let me enjoy that house in peace. <laughs> enjoy your comfort. <laughs> Thank you so much. So tell me, how has it been going? <sighs> well, he hasn't said anything to me. Are you serious? Anyways, I didn't expect it to work like magic. I just suggest you give it time. I know. I wasn't expecting it to work like magic. I just can't wait for him to be getting my attention. Of course he will. I mean, you're pretty and attractive. And very soon, he'll be crawling back into your arms, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. Yeah, of course, of course, of course. So, just me. What have you been up to? Nothing. Just me and my cell phone all day. <laughs> <laughs> I already know that you can be on your phone for money tonight. This is my best friend. If you're not here, I don't have anybody to talk to. So. Yeah, bro. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, no problem. Just send the mail. Just send the mail to me. Yeah. I will check it out later. Alright. Talk to you later. Yeah. Hey, Papa. Hey. <laughs> Welcome. Oh, thank you. Mm. Well, it's all right. You came right on time. Okay. <laughs> okay, I got you something. Ask her. How did you know that this is exactly what I am craving for? Really? Really? <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> that makes me sick, right? But of course you are. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Okay. Let, 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 me, let me see. Ah. Uh, ah, okay. uh, this is nice. <laughs> this is. Okay. Um, let me see you. Please. Don't worry. Yeah. But I'm not an invalid. I'm I just enjoy. <laughs> I don't want you to stress me. It's alright. It's alright. It's all right. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> mm. I really like it. Heavenly. Mmm. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> okay, thank you. I still can't get her off my mind no matter how hard I try. I love Amanda but she's carrying a child for my father and has refused going for a DNA test. Fiona is totally not what I want for your wife. You needed to have seen what happened last night. He tried talking to me. Are you serious? Finally. So, did you give him a listening ear? Trust your girl now. I snubbed him and walked out. That's good. At least he would not get him back to you won't be easy. Trust me, he will still come around. I just thought I'm not doing too much. Come on, baby girl, you are not. Look, you have to stick to the game. Don't allow emotions ruin it until he realizes his mistakes and apologizes to you and his father, okay? Okay. All right, I'll, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> All right, take care of yourself. Bye. Bye. Excuse me. I want to make use of my kitchen. Am I not talking to you? Leave my... Who even gave you the permission to enter this kitchen in the first place? Do I need your permission to use the kitchen? <laughs> Let me remind you. This is my fiancé's house. His house, my house. So my kitchen automatically. You understand? <laughs> you don't have any right whatsoever to enter this kitchen without my permission. If you want to cook, call your crippled husband to take you to his house and use his kitchen. Is that clear? Respect yourself. I don't have time for all of this. So don't push me. Don't. You know who you are? Dirty slots. What are you just saying? You heard me loud and clear. Dirty slots. I'm ah! to beat you. Are you insane? You slapped me, and I will do that over and over again. You if you utter that gutter, you come out and speak to me in that manner. 
You're leaving this house today. Change it today. You're leaving this house. Nonsense. You're leaving this house today. If I even told God, I can't leave it. What is love without trust? What is love without trust? Frank. The bond between my father and Amanda these days is becoming something else. Look, the whole thing is making me feel jealous. Jealous? Yeah. <laughs> You're feeling jealous even when Amanda cheated on you with your father? Look, Frank, you seem not to understand. I love Amanda. I can feel it deep down in my heart. But she's carrying your father's child. Yeah, she is, but she also said it's mine. Without proof? Huh? See, if she's sure that she never had an affair with your father, and the pregnancy is not your father's, then she should have sent the DNA text. But look, Frank, I don't know what to think anymore. This whole thing is confusing. <clears throat> see, bro, there's nothing confusing about this. Besides, you still have Fiona. What? Please don't even go there. What did you just say? You still have fuel. Hey, hey! Oh no! That one that can't even cook. Can't make a proper meal. Please. <laughs> please, please. Hey, babe. Hey, hi. Uh, hi, how are you doing? What's, what's, what's wrong? Why, why are you looking like this? Why are you looking all melancholy? What's the problem? It's not that dirty thing. She wouldn't even allow me cook well in my kitchen. She had the guts to slap me. Oh, you'll be in my office. It's okay, okay Frank, thank you. Come, come. Hey, come. Hey, hey it's, come, come, come. It's okay. It's all right, okay? Look, I apologize on the behalf, okay? But you would have just waited for me to come back to the house. This is an office. Babe, is this what you have to say to me? I, I already said I apologize on the behalf, babe. I'll handle it. Babe! <laughs> Fi Bro! Hey! Wait, 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 wait! You mean to tell me that she came all the way from your house to your office to complain about kitchen incident? <laughs> Dragging kitchen where she cannot even cook! Hey, Frank, that's insulting! Oh, sorry, I. I came here for my father. Me. What do you expect me to do? Engage her in a fist fight? Really? What is really? If you as a woman could not do anything to her, then just let it slide. Wait, this is unbelievable. Spencer, is this what you're telling me? Is this what you're saying to me? Meet me here. Oh, no, 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 I can't take this. Spencer! 
Don't worry. What nonsense? Hmm. Oh God. You shouldn't be doing this. Amanda, we've, we've always done this. That was before, not now. I am your father's concubine. He might work in here soon, so leave. Please. To a gift. I don't need a gift. Hey. Come on, baby. You didn't even get to open the gift at least. Please. Spencer, please. I am not your baby. And as for the gifts, I don't remember asking you for any. So keep it for your baby till she comes back. My dear, mm -hmm. <laughs> you needed to have seen the way he was all over me. 
And could you believe that? He got me a gift. Really? Mm -hmm. This plan is really becoming a reality. Oh. My dear, you can say it again. <laughs> I, mean, I am very sure that he cannot even spend the whole day without thinking about me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I don't know why he's finding it so difficult to say sorry. Mm -hmm. Men and their ego. I believe in no time he'll be left with no choice than to come and say sorry to you. I mean... Hmm. My dear... Did you take the gift? I rejected it. Mm -hmm. I told him I don't need it. Should I have accepted it? Not until he tenders an apology to his father. I mean, that man deserves an apology from him. Such a good man, filled with wisdom. He's so intelligent and nice. Yeah, I can say that again. <laughs> it's good to have you here. Spencer, you've got all these things for her, right? Spencer, I am talking to you. You got all these things for her, right? I've always known you still have eyes for Amanda. See, Spencer, if you think you can keep me under this roof to become your sex toy, you better have everything. Because if I go down, you go down. Hey, watch your tongue. Watch my tongue. You watch your tongue, Spencer. How dare you? How dare you? Huh? Watch your tongue. I wonder how I ended up with an infidel. God! One more insult from you. And I'll make you regret your existence in this house. You make me regret my existence in this house. For your information, I'm already regretting everything. You see this whole thing? I'm regretting it. I actually thought that I was, I, was, I was having something with a sensible man. I never knew you were less of a man. It's in fact, eh, to hell with you. You see this thing? I'm leaving this miserable house. And don't come looking for me. Nonsense. Nonsense. Hey, hey, hey. Last I checked, you never came to this house with any box. The box, the shoes, everything you own, I got it for you. So in your own interest, you'd rather leave this house empty. Get lost. Lucy, do you know that portion of the Bible that says, strike the shepherd and the sheep will scatter? Yes. <laughs> that is exactly what has happened. He has chased his so-called girlfriend away. Are you really asking me that? Like I have no job to do other than meddling? <laughs> but he's yet to apologize. <laughs> Fighting his conscience, I guess. Now him no, if he like. <laughs> Alright, I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye.
Amanda, Amanda, Amanda. What is Amanda, it? Amanda, please wait. What? Uh, Amanda, look, I was thinking you'd come sleep in my room. And why should I? Amanda, that's, that's been the room we've been sleeping ever since we knew each other. And you expect a woman who is carrying your father's child to come sleep in the same bed with you? I guess you've chased your girlfriend away. Amanda. That's why you have no one to call you, right? No, no, Amanda, it's, it's, it's not... It's not what? Spencer, please, I was actually going to meet my husband before you obstructed. Excuse me. Frank, look, I've tried everything possible to get a mother's attention. Still to no avail. The other day I bought her gifts and she rejected it. I even tried to talk to her and she just bluffed me up like I don't exist. Wait, Spencer, if I get you correctly. Are you saying that you have finally accepted her pregnancy? Because I can't phantom this, your sudden need for her attention. Frank. Frank, I'm a pro. And I'll be truthful to you. I don't seem to think straight anymore. I, I can sleep at night. Each time I try to close my eyes, the only face I get to see is Amanda's face. This is serious. I, I think this thing is happening because you are seeing her every day. Yes. No, I think it is time that you, know, you leave that house. You can come stay in my place. It will help you to get away with this Amanda's memory. What is love without trust? What is love without trust? Spencer. What is love without trust? Spencer. What is love without trust? Spencer. Love goes. With trust, love goes with care. So, Maria, change your perspective. And no. Is he not in his room? No, he's not there. His number is not reachable. He must have gone out. Why are you so worried? Look, he's a big boy. He can take care of himself. yourself because a girl cheated on you with your own father. Huh? Bro, put yourself together. Get a grip of yourself. Mm -hmm. I wish it was that easy, bro. You know, I never knew I really loved her. Maybe I was doing something wrong, you know, maybe, maybe I was not just doing enough. She had to find solace in the hands of my father. Bro, there's nothing you did wrong, okay? Stop taking blames for her. Whatever happens is on her, okay? Just put yourself together. So what if I'm wrong? 
what if the pregnancy is really mine? What if she never cheated on me? Bro, if that pregnancy is yours, there's no how she will move in with your father. You get me? Bro, just forget about all these things. Let it go. Okay? No, man. It's okay. Just, man, you, you look a mess, man. Come, let's go. You know, tidy you. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. Yeah, I'm fine, bro. I'm fine. Hey, just look at what you've done. Lucy, I cannot keep up with the whole of this. I can't. Keep up what? To see this whole pretense of being in a relationship with Spencer's father. It's not working. It's making things worse. How do you mean? Spencer has moved out of the house. Ha! <laughs> Men and their ego. Instead of him to just apologize. How will he apologize? when he still thinks that his father is responsible for my pregnancy. But Lucy, why don't you just go for this DNA and end this already? After all, he's the one taking the responsibilities of the expenses. Lucy, you don't get it. It's not about the DNA. It's about the lack of trust. The fact that Spencer would think that I will have an affair with his father. His own father. It's out of it. Look, Amanda. I understand you are hot. But you still love this guy. Don't let your heart be cloud the love you have for him. You guys have the responsibility of making things work. So put your heart and pride aside and work things out. I mean, I'm tired of this whole drama. Enough already. Well, um, I understand everything that you have said, and I think you're right. I really thought and wished that our plan would work. I want you in this family. In as much as I love Spencer, there are things we can't force. But my daughter, if you would listen to me, I would like to plead that you please agree to do the DNA test and prove that he really is the father of your baby. Would the DNA test change his perspective about me? He already thinks that I had an affair with you. So even if the child is his, he will still believe that I cheated on him. And what is relationship without trust? What is love without trust? What is love without trust? What is love? Spencer. Spencer. Spencer, you don't have to. This is your house. I want to leave. I'll go. What about my father? There is nothing going on between your father and I. Nothing. Amanda. You must think I'm a fool. It was all a plan to get you jealous and make you realize how much you want me. But I guess it didn't work. I never said it didn't work. Huh? Do you know how I felt all this while watching you all loved up with my father? Amanda, I loved you. I still love you. But what you did is unforgivable. I did not do anything, Spencer. This baby is yours. Then let's do the DNA test to prove it. And after the DNA test, what next? Would I also prove that I have never cheated on you with anyone? Not to talk of your father. Do you know the most heartbreaking part of all this? That you think so low of me, to the point of sleeping with your father, how, how could you?
told you. When you're ready to do the DNA test, call me. Spencer. What is love? Spencer, listen. What is love? We are trust. What is love? We are trust. Love goes with trust. Love goes with care. So, Maria, you need to stop crying because crying will not solve this. If you really love this guy the way you put it, then why don't you do everything possible to make the relationship work? I love him. Yes. But what is love without trust? I cannot be with a man that does not trust me. I can't. I am going to get the DNA done. And after that, it's over. Don't say that. I mean it. Love is never enough. You need to think this through. There is nothing to think through, Lucy. I have made up my mind. Look, just forget about it, Dad. Forget about it. When? When? Okay, I'm not promising though. Okay, bye. What did he say? He said Amanda left the house and that he urgently wants to speak to me. I just know it's one of his plot twists to just bring me back to the house though. Then you should go see him. Don't talk to him. He said he's still your dad. I sleep with my girl. Bro, you can't listen to him, bro. Okay? I think that's the right thing to do. Hear him out and know what he has to say. Son, how could you leave your handicapped father alone in this house, untended for? Untended for? What about your mistress? Amanda is not my mistress. It's all in your head. A baseless speculation. Look, Dad, if this is why you called me, I guess I'll have to be on my way. Thanks, right, sir. Sit. Look, I am your father. And I will never do anything to hurt you. What you did? Your accusation is false. Nothing happened between Amanda and me. I can testify that she is a virtuous woman. Don't lose her. Spencer. Spencer. What is love without trust? What is love without trust? What is love? We are trust. Bro. What is love? We are trust. Love goes with trust. <laughs> love goes with care. So, my love, change your perspective. Oh, my dear, love is dead. We are trust. With that care. What is it? What is it? 
positive. She's carrying my child. So, what are you going to do now? Get your hands off me. Mother, please, I am sorry. I know I wronged you. I'm sorry for everything I did. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Sorry. Please. Forgive you? Spencer, it's so convenient for you to say. You made me look like a fool. You called me all sorts of names. Sorry. You even accused me. What was my crime? Taking care of your father. You know what? You have your DNA test. So let me be. Amanda, please. Amanda, I know I wronged you. I know better now. Please. Forgive me. Amanda. Baby, please. Don't you dare call me that. Don't you call me baby. You've lost the right to call me. Don't you dare. You even abandoned your father. Spencer, how could you be this callous? How could you? My daughter. My daughter. You, you, you have every right to be angry. But for my sake, please forgive him. You're a good woman. Let not your hurt override the love that both of you shared. Please, my daughter, I'm begging you. Please. Amanda. Amanda. Amanda, please. Please. I am sorry. I regret everything I did. Let's start over again, please. Let's be the best parents our baby can have. Please, forgive me. You want me so I know. I know. I know. I'm, I'm sorry. Forgive me. I can do this. Amanda, please wait. Amanda. What are you still what doing here? Yes. Go after her! Uh, Spencer, do whatever you can to get her back. Because if you lose her, you would have missed a good woman. And you may never find anyone like her again. Go! Go, go! Amanda! So Maria, change your perspective, oh my dear.